there, it's Valerie from Amazing Hiring here, and I'm going to show you how to create some search queries within our platform. We're currently on our main page, and you can see that we have two main options to start with. So it's the AI sourcing feature and the search form. The main difference between AI sourcing and the search form is that within the AI sourcing, you can choose one main skill or specialization first, then you choose a location and the platform pre-selects you the candidates and shows the ones that are more likely to work with a specific skill. So it's a more targeted search output. The search form, however, will show you everyone who works within the specific skill. Or it also allows you to create non-skill specific searches. So you can do company-wide search or use title or any other conditions that we provide. Let's start off with the AI sourcing first. For example, if we're looking for some full stack engineers in Amsterdam, we only need to choose those and the platform gives us an output of the relevant candidates. Sometimes we would need to modify the search a little bit to make sure it is as narrow as possible. Let's do some iterations. With an option to add extra conditions, I would add some skills. Because the platform uses Boolean operators and Boolean logic in general, I can create some specific searches. So for example, in terms of skills, I can have Java or Python. You can see we can also use brackets to make sure that the conditions are connected correctly. And the logic here is the same as in maths. If I'm looking for some front-end skills, I can do Angular or React, for example. With extra conditions, I can also exclude some things that I'm not interested in, like company, or we are not looking for a specific title. As you can see, we can also understand within the platform extra synonyms, so you don't have to type up different um, frameworks separately. Let's check out what the search output is like. If you want to narrow it down further, you can use the filters on the left. The filters allow you to, for example, include or exclude various conditions. Something I suggest using would be, for example, the profiles that you viewed previously, so you don't actually do the double amount of work. Then we can check out candidates with specific years of experience and use the seniority level filter. This can probably narrow down the search quite nicely. So we will look at some middle developers. Once you're happy with the search output, you can check out the previews, or you can also get some information on the search hits. This is very helpful if you want to cross-reference the different platforms that we use for indexation and create a meaningful outreach to the candidate. As you can notice, the search output allows you to also use tags on the profiles, and this can be very helpful for market mapping. If you relocate candidates or you have blacklists or candidates that you've previously communicated with, you can use those tags to quickly find them. For example, if we use this tag now, in the future, we'll be able to add it to our search and the tags can be added as a keyword. Just don't forget to use a hashtag sign. Those are the basics of starting out with Amazing Hiring Search Engine. Feel free to check out further videos and we'll be also happy to help you if you have any questions at sales at amazinghiring.com. Bye!